Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Happy New Year. My name is Father John Corrigan. I am a country priest from the Diocese of Ballarat, and it is a delight to be back on Mass You at Home. I offered Masses in Melbourne for many years for this program, and I value the Mass You at Home family very much. So, in preparation for these holy mysteries we're about to celebrate, Let's call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of the Father. Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her, through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Say this to Aaron and his sons. This is how you are to bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they are to call down my name on the sons of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. Bless us in his mercy. O God, be gracious and bless us. And let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth. And all nations learn your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. Bless us. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subjects of the law, and to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are sons is that God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the spirit that cries, Abba, Father. And it is this that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore. And if God has made you a son, then he has made you heir. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. Now he speaks to us through his son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him, and everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, They gave him the name Jesus, the name the angel had given him before his conception. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today we celebrate Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Mother of God is one of Our Lady's oldest titles. And in fact, it's one of the earliest doctrines defined by the church. But still, it's controversial. Many Protestant Christians wince at the title. It feels to them as though we're overemphasizing Mary. Jesus is our saviour, they say. So don't exaggerate Mary. Call Mary the mother of Jesus, but not the mother of God. Except that this title, Mary, mother of God, is precisely about Jesus and about what we as Christians believe of him. Defining Mary as the mother of God, Theotokos in Greek, categorically established the Christian belief that Jesus is God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Jesus was always God. So it was God whom we crucified at Calvary. It was God who was baptized in the River Jordan. God was born in Bethlehem. 
God was conceived in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So really, it is incorrect to say that Mary is the mother of Jesus, but not the mother of God. We cannot separate Jesus, the son of Mary, from God, the son, second person of the Trinity. In his writings and in his preachings, and no doubt in his personal prayer, St. Josemaria Escrivá habitually referred to Mary as the mother of God and my mother too. This is an affectionate detail, which is good for us to imitate. Mary, the mother of God, and my mother too. It speaks to the wonder of Christmas, the scandal of the incarnation. It helps us to love Our Lady more, to love her as our own mother, but it also speaks to us and what Christmas means. So consider this preface from the Christmas Mass, we would have heard this a week ago, which invokes the holy exchange of Christmas. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendour. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honour, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. St. Athanasius is starker still. God became man so that we might become God. This is the holy exchange, the scandal of the incarnation, the wonder of Christmas. And this is the mystery we celebrate when we recognize the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother of God and our mother too. Let us renew our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. At the beginning of a new year and with renewed hope, let us present our needs to God. That this will be a year when violence gives way to peace, and hatred gives way to reconciliation. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the shepherds, the church may find Christ anew and be astonished at what she sees. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That praise and thanksgiving be always in our hearts and on our lips. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those for whom the pilgrimage of life has ended May they find the Lord in eternity. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of surprises, you sent Jesus to us as a helpless child. Hear the prayers we now pray through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfilment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. Without losing the glory of virginity, she brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our saviour jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I ask. 
asks thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and take us to heaven to live with thee. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, I reiterate my delight at celebrating Mass with you today from this beautiful co-cathedral with a talented and dedicated team. And I know I speak for all Mass View at Home viewers in thanking the Diocese of Wollongong. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Calvary Healthcare and Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Father Mark De Batista, the chaplain for Mass for You at Home. On behalf of all those involved, I want to thank you for your support, be it spiritual or financial. Without your help, we cannot keep this ministry going. If I may be of assistance to any of you, feel free to reach out to me. May God bless you.